Have you ever played chicken with a chicken? I won! Welcome to Off The Range. The day is starting off great already because I worked out this morning. That's actually two days in a row for me. I have decided that I am making lifting weights and getting muscle a priority. Now that my race is over and I don't have to run a crazy amount of miles anymore, I can go back to lifting weights because I really want to be super strong. And I'm just kind of strong right now. Someday soon though, Matt will be super strong. We are working on <laughs> this crazy thing, which I'm so pumped about. And last time you saw, we hooked all this stuff together. I wanna to try to get the electrical stuff hooked up, the fuel line hooked up, the throttle cable, the shifter cable. That's most of it, I think. I just gotta figure out how to run it and where to run it. I don't know, it's gonna be tricky. I think I'm gonna start with probably electrical first. Let's do the easy stuff first. Oh, and I do wanna say one thing. A lot of people have been like, Matt, this isn't gonna be any faster, dummy. But I think it will. I know that because when you put one person in this versus two, the one with one person is faster because it's lighter. Think about it, the same amount of horsepower, let's pretend that engine doesn't exist. You have the same amount of horsepower but now you have an extra 200 pounds sitting there. So the same amount of horsepower has to push more weight. So this now has theoretically double the horsepower with just a little bit more weight, not double the weight. So we're increasing horsepower, but not increasing the weight as much. Now, do I think it's gonna be twice as fast as a regular go-kart? No. Is it gonna hit a higher top speed? Probably not, but it should get to that top speed faster, I think. And like the reason I'm kind of building this is because we're going up this hill and like it was just, just steep enough that it made it really hard to get up the hill. My brother did it, but he was lighter. He got up there fairly easily. I could do it after several times. I finally kind of got the right angle and got enough speed that I could make it up this hill. Uh, Danger Dave, he's a little bit heavier than me. Couldn't get it up. That need up, cut. Let's do wiring first. So this is our wiring harness from the rear engine. I don't really remember where all these things go, but luckily we have another go-kart to compare. I do remember I put this tape around this one because this goes to the brake pedal because you have to push the brake pedal down to start the engine. So this is just a little electrical switch that has to have a circuit connected or the engine won't start. So I think I can just actually touch these two wires together and then I won't have to have that little switch there. So I'm just gonna cut that off right now and uh, touch those together, tie it up with some electrical tape, and then run all this through there. And Maybe even I can put the second ignition box. So we have another ignition box off the other go-kart. Put it right beside it, maybe? I don't know. I have to figure out a place to put it where I can have the second one. It'd be so cool if I could have them keyed here for the front engine, keyed there for the back engine. It might be tricky. We'll see what I can do. engine. There's no gasoline hooked up to it, but <laughs> yes. So that is uh, very promising. I was happy to see that thing turn over like that. I still have to do gasoline, uh, throttle cable, and shifter cable. I got to split off that gas tank and run a hose back there. I need to get those hoses. Man, the, the throttle cable and the shifter cables are going to be, there's two shifter cables. They're going to be tricky. This episode is sponsored by HelloFresh and it's dinner time. Hello, Mayor. 
We have five kids. <laughs> uh, and two of them are smaller than our regular three kids, so it's it's a lot of work. We got baby gates everywhere. Am I helping? <laughs> HelloFresh does all the planning, shopping, and prepping so that you can focus on enjoying the new year and a healthier you. <laughs> You are cute. You are cute. Hello. I'm, try I'm trying to talk about HelloFresh. They send all these pre-measured ingredients in easy to follow six step pictured recipe cards. They're delivered right to your door. This is the best plug I've ever done. <laughs> Each week in a special insulated box. HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving. So get outside of that recipe rut and start cooking outside your comfort zone by discovering HelloFresh new and delicious recipes. We are keeping my brother's kids, uh, Ellie and Abe. Ellie is three, Abe is almost two, yeah. And it's because, for those who don't know, most people know, but my brother has cancer. He's been in the hospital getting a pretty massive surgery over the last couple of days. Um, Mary and I spent all day, two days ago, sitting in a hospital with him. And we stayed overnight, saw him the next morning, and after the surgery, the recovery day, and he was hurting, I mean, pretty painful. They took a big tumor out of his nasal passageways. And then we came back home, and we've been keeping old Ellie and Abe. And uh, we've got reports back. Mark is feeling a lot better. He was a 10 out of 10 pain when we were there. He's like a five out of 10 now. He's feeling much better. We got pretty much all good news from the surgeons. Uh, they were pretty confident that they got all the tumor, and they'll, you know, we won't know for sure for a while. Uh, but everything they saw in there, they that they knew this tumor, they felt like they got out. So all in all. Good news, and he's, he had a pretty bad outlook. They were like, hey, there's something inside his nasal, nasal cavity. And then they're like, we're gonna go biopsy. Whoa, it's huge. Oh, it's eroded some of his bone. Oh, it's definitely cancer. Oh, it's definitely malignant cancer. Oh, it's some weird one, we don't know what it is. And then it's like, oh, it's growing super fast. By the way, now it doesn't respond to chemo at all. But we got all good news that day, which was awesome. Very, very much needed. Much needed. Yes, and so I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. I know a lot of you guys are following uh, Mark's post um, on his homemade everything Instagram and YouTube, and uh, I know a lot of you guys are you know you keeping up to date with it. And so I appreciate all the support. Thanks all you guys who got shirts because it was definitely nice. While Mark and Jackie have not been able to work, that we can give them um, you know a nice check from everybody buying these shirts and say hey, don't worry about work, don't worry about money, just. Worry about yourself right now. Super cool. You guys are awesome. And they're still for sale. What? So they're still for sale. Yeah, if you haven't got one yet. Mark still needs it, so still for sale. Take advantage of HelloFresh special offer for 2019. Get a total of $80 off with eight free meals in your first month by going to HelloFresh.com and entering the promo code off the ranch 80. I think it's the best deal I've ever given. I'm going to cook this and then we're going to eat this and then I'm going back out to the barn so we can finish what we started. Not until after bedtime. I just closed this. We can't keep talking after I close this. Not until after bedtime. First I'm gonna tuck kids in. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Beautiful weather. Beautiful weather out here. Let me show you where we're at with this thing. Okay, so these are our shifter cables coming from the rear engine. They will wrap around here. They come to our shifter right here. So this is in forward right now. There's neutral, there's reverse. Uh, basically, I mean, I would have loved for it to be up with the other shifter over there, but the cables, uh, like being certain length, and I was like, I'm not gonna get longer cables and extend it up there, so I'll just rig up something here so I weld it on some brackets that this thing would bolt right to. If I need to get in reverse, I just reach my hand out, go click, 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 knock it over in reverse. So now, all I have left is I need to run gasoline to the engine, and then I need to run the accelerator pedal cable up here. I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet. My worry with the gas, the engine, I wanted to run this all off of this one tank. There's a line that comes off this tank, I was gonna put a little Y in it and split it. But I was worried, is that enough gas flow? Since now there's twice as much engine pulling gas through that one little tube, is the tube big enough diameter to feed both engines? I don't know, we'll have to find out. But it'd be nice if I could run them both off of one tank just so I don't have to fab up another mount for a tank. 
I'm gonna try it first. So I got some splitters, I have some tubes, I'm gonna run gas lines, and then accelerate a pedal, and then I think I'm done. Okay, I went ahead and just did it without you. Let me show you what I have. So the gas tank has two lines that come off of it. Can't really see it. One there and one there. And so the first one is the one the gas actually flows through, and I have a split here, and you can see then it goes down to this gas filter, and then the other one comes back down here and goes to this fuel filter right here. The other line, I think it's like a vent line or something, but it comes here, then it splits right there. One goes to that carburetor, one comes back here and goes down to this carburetor. So fuel, I think is hooked up. Let me show you what I did for the accelerator cable. So the accelerator cable from the back engine is coming in right here. I hooked it there with a zip tie, and this is as far as it reaches. So it's the same length as the other one, but since the engine is three feet back, this cable ends three feet before the pedal. So I just tied a wire to it, and I ran a wire up to the pedal. Yeah, redneck, but sometimes rednecks get stuff right. Let me show you. This is the accelerator pedal for the front engine. When I push that pedal, that cable goes. But when I push that pedal, this cable also goes. So now I think that everything is ready to try to start up the back engine. All right, uh, let's try bridge. And now there's a big line of air instead of gas, so it probably could take a second. It might take a while, I don't I probably should have primed that line. Maybe it's not even getting gas, I have no idea. Oh! Come on! Ha <laughs> ha! Hasn't ran in a while. Ah! Let's see if my shifter works. All right, let's go in reverse. Oh no, it's backwards. <laughs> okay, I put him in wrong. Ugh. Should still be fine. Oh, nice, so that's all rear engine only. Let's go ahead and start up the front engine. Step up engines. I can't tell if my front engine's running. Oh, there we go. I didn't press the brake pedal. That's both engines. <laughs> All right, let's put one in drive. Ugh. That's rear engine in drive. Now front engine's in drive. <laughs> All right, reverse. worked great. I need to hook the seat down. I need to do some like cable management, like zip tie, all this stuff up so it's not just everywhere. Same thing down there. Need to get it all tidied up a little bit and then test drive. I would totally, I mean, I want to test drive it right now, but it's dark and it's rainy and muddy and another day when it's nicer outside and daylight, ideally, we'll go for a test drive and see what this baby can do. Theoretically, twice the horsepower. So, oh, it looks so good, just pushing and, oh, yes! I'm so pumped. I did not know if this would work, and uh, a lot of people were like, nah, that'll never work. And I was like, I feel like I can make this, I feel like I can make this happen. A little mail time before we go tonight. Uh, the first one is from uh, Brian Keaton, and uh, he has Keaton Woodworking and Keaton File Knives. Let me show you what he made for me. Uh, well, this one's from Mare, check this out. It's got her name on there says off the ranch, it's a, a letter opener. And so he handmade all this, the wood, the metal. He, I think he just like gets like a file, like an iron file. And then I think he files it down into letter openers, into knives, he made this one for me. It says Demolisha on it, super cool. Oh man, I didn't see that. Yeah, you can see how it's a file. See how it still has kind of a, that's neat. Really cool. Thanks dude. 
I love it. Uh, he made a bowl out of wood. He made some tops for the kids. And then he made some coffee spoons. Little, uh, little wooden spoons. Dude, awesome. I appreciate it. I think it's so cool. He also said that this knife, I think he said it took him 12 hours to make this. That's dedication, Holmes. And then another knife from Bark Knives. It's a company in Russia. Look at this thing. Just a beauty. Very cool. So the handle is wood. And look how polished this thing is. So cool. Got my first Russian knife. You're awesome. Anyone wanting to send us something, whether it's uh, a cool knife that you made or whether it's just a letter, I will leave our PO box in the description below. I also have a couple big deals coming up, I think this week. A um, couple big announcements. Some good, some scary. Uh, yeah, but they're, they're gonna be interesting. I promise you that. Thanks for watching off the ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> Don't tell Mayor. <laughs>